everyone and welcome back to my studio. Hope you're having a great day. Ready for some painting fun? I am. Let's try something different. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I have some thoughts in my head. We're going to play. So let's get down to the canvas and have some fun. Hold on. Okay, we have a 12 by 12 canvas. It is taped and push pinned. It's on my spinner. Um, I have sprayed water on the back. It's all ready to go. This is just a standard canvas, nothing fancy, because we're playing today. All my paints today are mixed with my favorite mixed pour. If you want some mixed pour, you can contact Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com, and she will help you out. So colors for today, of course, Decor, Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Love that one. Trying some new paints. This is Master's Touch Acrylic in Pearlized Crystal Blue. Looks pretty. And I also have the Master's Touch in Pearlized Violet. So we're going to give that a try. And then I have Amsterdam in Quinacridone Rose and some Grumbacher Academy in Prussian Blue. And we are going to use my five chamber split cup to start with. I think we're going to do a straight pour while turning and then we may play. So let's first fill up this split cup and we'll see how this goes. You never know. Could be interesting. Where do I want to put which colors? I think I want to put the Prussian blue in this chamber. Now I really don't need to fill this whole split cup because this is a 12 ounce split cup and I only need about six ounces on my canvas. So I am going to try and not fill these all, but fill them all about the same amount, because I don't need to put that much paint in here. same. I've got more paint if I need it, but that should be more than enough. All right, let me change your angle so you can see the pour a little better. That's pretty good. All right, I hope that's good. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, I think you can see it. Okay, and you'll be able to see better from there. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of gold in the center where I'm going to start. Just a tiny puddle. Sort of that poor here mark. Alright, we're going to give this a try. I'm going to slowly turn, I think, as I pour this and we'll see what happens.
ending there. But we'll just take our smack stick and play a little with it. coming up. All right, let me move you back up top. Let's get you just right. That's pretty good. Okay, that'll do. All right, that's looking pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put some flow extender. that around. This is all probably going to get removed. Let me spin. But I'll help it move better in the process. All right. That's better. Much better. All right. I'll start by giving this a slow spin and see what we get. hard there. Hold on a sec. Hmm. Almost over all the corners. But I think I'm going to play with it a little. I'm going to do folks and you can scream later if you really like what you're seeing so I'm gonna play in the center here I'm gonna put a little puddle so I'm gonna put a little that color a little this color all that color there with the gold, but I'm not worrying about it. 
And we're going to just set up my little fat stop. Why not? Because I'm going to get messy. I'll put my little back stop up over here. Catch the paint. And we're going to flick a little. I'm feeling like flicking. I'm going to take this glove off. Because you know you can't wear a glove and flick. So we're going to play. And put a little fun in the center of this pour. that close up a little. bit more with our stick here. Just to put a little something fun in the middle of this pour. Oh, I like that. Let's torch that. See a lot of bubbles here in the center. Okay, stubborn bubbles. Oh, now that I like. That's cool. All right, we're going to spin it a little more. because I can. And because I got a couple corners I want to want to blow out that center a little. And finish covering all the corners. Doing a few minor adjustments. Like that. I'll give it one more spin. This is messy. Paint is everything. I'm 
liking that slick flower in the middle of my straight core. Oh, look at the, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big twisty right there, there's a little twisty there, a little twisty over here. Love the twisty. Spin. One more time, I'm gonna sort of blow out that center so I don't leave too much paint in the middle here. Remember, if you have patience, you don't have to spin hard or fast. It will eventually work its way off, and you won't make as big a mess if you spin softly. Oh, now see, I like that. Because my little flower has more of the pink and the gold that got sort of killed in the pour. Oh, I'm liking that. Okay. Hold on, I'm going to take this off the spinner, I'm going to torch it again, I'm going to clean up my edges, and I will bring you down for a close-up. Hold on. Okay, we have wet results. I'm tickled with this. So I started with my straight pour on the spinner, which gave me these beautiful outer lines here. And then I took my paint and I made a flick flower in the center, which gave me some cool effects, like that twisty right there. And my pretty flower in the center, where I brought out more of the gold and pink that sort of got lost in the straight pour. And I got these cool twisty shoot-offs. And I'm loving that. So we're gonna let this dry and see what it looks like. Hang in there for dry results. Okay, we have dry results. Dried very dark. I'm surprised that blue, the crystal blue, pearlized blue is so dark. But mixed with the other colors, it seems to have darkened. I still love this flower in the middle. I'm thinking what this needs is some embellishment something bright around the petals of that flower to help them stand out better. So possibly I may be adding to this, but otherwise I am loving this. All right, that's this one. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for no more notifications when I upload videos. Thank you so much for being here and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everyone. Good night.